Hey Eric, what are you going to show us this time? Today, well, this time we're going to be learning about how to measure the resistance of a resistor. And in order to do so, we have to again properly set up our digital multimeter. You'll notice that there is a black ring here in the middle port. And since black is for negative, I know this is where I need to post my negative. So I'll slip that in. The next step is inserting the positive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the omega symbol, which is what is used to signify measuring resistance. Okay, that's called ohms. Correct. Okay. Measuring the ohms. And I've looked, and it's right there. Okay. So I will post my positive post right here. And now the digital meter is set and ready to be turned on. Okay, so where do you flip the dial to? I'll flip it again to the omega for ohms, since we're measuring resistance. Okay, let me get a close look at that. Okay. All right, excellent. And so now, what we need to do is you'll notice our circuit is disconnected because we do not need energy or electrical flow going through the circuit for this. We simply just need our resistor. In order to measure the resistance of the resistor, I'll place my positive post right here and the negative. And you're not hooked up to a battery or anything right Correct. Now. This okay. is strictly just the resistor. Okay. Now this will take a second because it has to send a little bit of a charge through it. And it looks like it's settling it at around 10 ohms. Exactly, because this is a 10 ohm resistor. Now, did you already know that was a 10 ohm resistor before you put the multimeter on it? I did, and there's a certain way to tell. If you look at the color bands on the resistor, they are actually kind of a code for engineers so they can actually tell what a resistor is without having to measure it. Please note though that this is only a range of resistance and using a digital multimeter you can actually find the exact resistance. The code depends on the color of the bands and also the order of the bands. And this is something you can simply look up on the internet or in engineering books.